Let's go over a practice problem using the Hardy-Weinberg equation. Remember our variables that we're going to use in this equation. We're going to come back to these in a little bit. We're also going to use these two equations. In human genetics, red hair is recessive, which means people who have red hair are homozygous recessive. 2% of a population has red hair. This question is going to ask you to calculate the P, Q, P squared, Q squared, and 2PQ variables. First of all, we already know Q squared. This is because in our question, it already tells us that red hair is recessive and 2% of humans have red hair. So this Q squared is just representing the homozygous recessive genotype frequency, which is 2%. Now, since we know this, we can figure out what Q is. Because if Q squared equals 0 0.02, we can take the square root of this and the square root of this to figure out what Q is. And if we do the math, Q is going to equal 0 0.14. Now it's time to use these equations. Remember that P plus Q equals 1, or the frequency of the dominant and recessive allele is it going to equal 100%. So if we know Q, we can figure out P. Remember, we already know what Q is. It's 0 0.14. So in this equation, something plus Q, which is 0 0.14, equals 1. So if we do a little math, we're going to find out that P is going to equal 0 0.86. All I did there was take 1 minus 0 0.14 and found out that P is going to equal the remainder, or 0 0.86. Now, since we know p, we can figure out what p squared is. You can do this by squaring 0 0.86, because that's going to tell us what p squared is. And that means p squared is going to be 0 0.74. Now, since we already have q squared and p squared, we can figure out what 2pq is. That's because p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. We have these two variables, which means to find this variable, we're just going to take 1 minus these two variables which means 2pq is going to equal 0 0.24. And this should make sense. We can check our work. All three of these should equal 1. And if we add them all up, they equal 1. And these two, p and q, should equal 1 as well. We add both of them up and they equal 1.